it's me, Jotium Draws again. Okay, so second video. Today we're going to be looking at some um, sketches and ideas for um, quirks or characters that I came up with for the My Hero Academia universe, and I just wanted to share them. Okay, so starting off with this cool guy in the corner. Uh, his quirk is basically block. He has these like two X-shaped uh, either tattoos or imprints on his palms, and he can touch objects. And that will basically block or confine people into that area, no matter between the two points. So you can basically capture you in a, a small room, basically. It's like a capture quirk, almost. Not a ton of potential for combat, but it will be um, kind of useful for capturing villains. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I get these guys' names and the little descriptions of the uh, the quirks. If you want to read it, I'll try and read my scribble writing. You can you can do that. Uh, okay, moving on. This guy, this kind of traditional Japanese bully looking guy, he's got his big pompadour here and kind of looks like a cinnamon swirl. And uh, his quirk is basically bully. If he looks into it's to do with his eyes, if he looks at you with the quirk, while the quirk is active, it's kind of like Aizawa, um, it'll cause fear and intimidation, basically shutting your ability to fight down completely. You won't be able to attack or fight for a certain period of time. Uh, won't be too long because that'll be overpowered but i think it looks pretty you know it's pretty cool um and i like its design it's kind of generic but i like it so you know let me know what you think uh let's move on to this girl uh basically simple transformation quirk only turns it into only you know not really too in depth there but i think it's kind of cool not the greatest sketch ever but i think it's kind of cool uh this guy it's like your salary man kind of guy and his quirk is drunk and that basically increases his strength and durability uh when he's completely smashed when he's completely like drunk um so he can like destroy buildings the more drunk he is and when he's hit peak drunkness he'll basically be unstoppable at least that's the way i think about it but he would have to drink an ungodly amount to actually do that um moving to this cool guy uh i really like him He's got like, this cool like dreadlocks or hair and whatever. Um, his quirk is matter change. So basically changing uh, the state or altering the state of matter. So he could like touch a box and turn it from a solid into a liquid into a gas. And he can do that completely interchangeably uh, at its free will. Um, obviously there'll be dire consequences for doing if he changed like a human being into basically a puddle. Um, so really cool combative and creative kind of thing i think anyway uh moving on to this guy this kind of guy reading a book um and these are all just quick sketches no full body kind of stuff just get out the ideas out of my head and onto the page um i think this guy's interesting his, his quirk i gave him is super intelligence and he can basically learn any kind of skill that you can learn in like basically the increased ma matter of time so if he wants to learn how to do judo or karate he can basically his quirk will allow him to speed up that process significantly so it might take i don't know three years to fully master karate he could probably do it in a week which i think is really cool and he can switch out he can almost like saving over a file in his brain he is quick allows him to like save and resave over skills so if he wants to learn how to if he's already got like a few stored up he can kind of just swap out one for another and i think that's kind of cool a lot of cool combat uh, stuff. I think they kind of got this like night eye energy. Um, cool. Yeah. So uh, here's another one. This girl's quirk is called Empath, and basically, she can um, her third eye on her forehead allows her to change people's emotions forcibly. So if you're feeling angry or sad or whatever, she can forcibly change your emotion to being happy. So you lose all almost kind of like a will to fight. I think that's kind of cool just a quick one there uh, moving on to one of my favorite ones this guy his quirk his, his head is literally just a mini sun and i think that's kind of cool um his and his quirk is called solar and basically he can emit solar um flares from his head and i just think that's super cool quick sketch and i think that's pretty cool okay um moving on to this old dude and his quirk is called disease basically his quirk allows him to become immune to all and any diseases but he can store them in his body and then he can distribute them via any method he wants and this is gonna be a, like a villain character um 
So if you want to transfer like a bacteria or a virus to you, uh, he could. And I think that's kind of cool. Um, this guy um, is, I think I like the sketch a lot. Um, and his quirk is called Accelerate. Basically, it increases the um, like the deterioration or the natural process of objects, so, such as rusting or aging. So he could touch it and basically make you older, or he could touch a metal object and rust it like really, really quickly. And I think that's kind of cool. So like the deterioration of objects, he can just accelerate that. Um, or like the natural progression of things. So like he could touch a tree and accelerate its natural progression, which I think is kind of cool. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, and I really want to redesign this guy. Um, and his he's called Mr. Karma. He's kind of like an anti-hero. Um, he's kind of like this Buddhist monk kind of looking guy. Um, kind of a little bit of Senku energy there. Um, and his quirk, this like yin yang symbol that's on his hand, allows him to basically store up good and bad karma. But he has to like commit good and bad acts to do that, and then he can pass that karma on to somebody else. So if he wants them to have increasingly good luck, he can give that to them. But if he wants to basically give them horrible, horrible luck, you know, he can do that. Um, I think, and obviously, the more that meter fills up on his hand, that kind of tattoo, um, the more good or bad karma it is. And so, like, fully bad karma will basically inevitably leave somebody to their death. But incredibly good karma will give them riches or make them successful, etc. Et uh, but he can't give it to himself, which is kind of ironic. But I think it's a cool ability. Might explain a little bit more on that if I redesign him in a video. Uh, let me know. Um, yep. And finally, we have uh, this guy. Now, he's called Kid Reckless. And basically, I thought about um, his quirk being called Crack Reckless, which allows him to transfer pain to other people. But at the same time, he can't feel other pain himself, uh, which is kind of cool. So, like, if he has a broken arm, he can basically transfer all of that pain to somebody else, uh, which is kind of cool. So all that pain will leave his body. His arm will still be broken. But he won't be able to feel it. But he'll be able to pass that on to somebody else. So that, I think that's kind of cool. Um, that's kind of just like a quick run through of all these characters. Um, I might do more. Um, maybe in another video. Um, if anybody is, you know, really likes it or is interested. Um, but yeah, let me know. I might do more of these. Like thinking about more uh, other people in the the world of their daily lives in my hero academia just like quirks that not necessarily made for hero acts but like everyday kind of stuff like oh what if a road worker had a tar quirk that would you know make his body melt like melt into tar or shoot tar out of him or something you know something to help work um but yeah uh, let me know what you think of these guys and i'll uh, see you next time all right bye